This video is sponsored by JJ Drones, the droning veteran, and chilling in Indiana Carl. Welcome back to Off the Hook Outdoors. I'm Ted, your host. Today we're up, we're back out on the lake, going for some bass. Uh, we have a little bit of change in weather though today. Uh, the past couple days we've done great. I've caught a ton of bass. Uh, I even had a musky on yesterday that hit on the frog. Uh, but Friday. We had a weather change, it was a little bit cool. It was about 65 degrees. And then sat yesterday, it was 85 degrees and sunny all day. And then today, it's 61 degrees. And we're looking at cloudy, cloudy skies and uh, possibility of rain. So we're looking at an overcast day today, basically. So I'm starting out on this point. We're gonna try, I always try to small mouth in the morning on this point here, see if they're here. If they're here, it's usually a good day. If they're not here, we got to go find them. Uh, I am starting to catch the largemouth in the weeds and everything on frogs. And I'm also catching them on stick baits and jigs off of the uh, lily pads. So stay with me. I hope you enjoy the video. So starting off with the wacky rig again off of this point. My sister caught a 19 inch smallmouth here yesterday. So I wanted to start out the morning with the wacky rig on this point. I'm gonna throw some uh, I'm gonna be throwing some top water right here. But the water temperature is about 72 degrees. So uh, it's not perfect temperatures yet, but it's starting to warm up and they're getting a little more active. Uh, on top water. Uh, yesterday I've been I was catching them on top water with the frog. So we'll see what happens guys stay with us and uh, Hopefully we get you some catches All right guys. Well, we got my first fish on a choppo Black choppo and he drilled it right off the shoreline um, But yeah, I got a couple hits on this black choppo overcast skies little baby but it's a start, guys, so we'll see what happens. Stay with me. All right, well, I worked my way back into this, my favorite stuff to throw. I'm throwing a frog. I'm throwing a Spro, uh, red and brown frog on a Abu Garcia Revo Beast X Reel, 50 pound Sunline, frogging and flipping on my seven foot all-star medium heavy rod. This is one of my favorite rods to throw. We're gonna uh, see if we can't get something here in this, uh, in these weeds. Stay with me. All right guys, I, I got a couple hits. I seen a monster both in here, but I got a couple hits on the uh, choppo here. So we're gonna see what happens. See if we can't get something Water's very calm. There's hardly any wind today. So we're just throwing in these open water, these open patches. Seeing if we can't get something. Got two little ones. But nothing, uh, don't really have a pattern yet. So we'll see what happens, guys. All right, there's one, guys. They were chasing some stuff over here. So I figured I'd throw it in there. There you go, little baby, little 12-inch one, but they're still fun to catch. If I can get it out of his mouth. Come on. There we go, little baby. These are all them logs in here. I got a few hits on top water with the choppo, but not uh, not many. They're still hitting these wacky rigs and these slow worms here, so I don't know. I've seen some stuff chasing bait over here, so I figured I'd come over and throw a few times, and 
I guess they're uh, they're chasing bait. They're not chasing my bait. So, all right, we'll be right back. All right, so I got another little baby. I didn't even have it on camera. So, but he hit off of this little log here. There's a ton of these small, these little small bass in this in this wood here. So I'm trying to see where the big ones are, like what the pattern is. So I'm just throwing to these logs and uh, they're just, the little ones are like stuck up in the logs. So I'm wondering if I should be going on the main lake and uh, pitching some wood and everything since it got cold. Maybe they're hung up under the wood and like in the real thick cover. Maybe flip something, flip like a vile bug or a rage crawl or something like that into the wood in the real heavy cover and see if I can't pull something out of there. So, all right, well, stay tuned. All right, guys, well, I'm hitting these mats now. The sun's up, it's getting warm. So I put a white frog on. We're gonna drive into here and we're gonna throw the mats for a little bit and we'll see what happens. So stay with us. All right, guys. So I end up catching this fish. Let me get this out of here. Decent one right on the edge of the pads. Let him go. I had a really nice one before and it got off. I hooked it, it came up and jumped and spit the hook. So we're gonna keep at it in these pack of these pads. I'm just flipping the pads and uh, slowly getting some, but they're getting bigger and bigger as we go. So stay with me. There's one. Alright. Another one off of those pad edges. But still another small one. I think the biggest one we got is about 13 or 14 inches today, so another little baby. We're gonna keep at it guys. Ah missed one guys. Try it again. So all these little pads here, guys, these little islands of pads. Oh, there's a snag. All these little islands of pads, I'm just throwing right next to them. Like right, almost hitting the pads with the worm. I'm just letting it sink and go under. And I'm getting some hits. I'm not getting a lot of hits, but I'm getting enough to keep, uh, keep me, you know, on this pattern. So, see what happens, guys. But it's cloudy, and it's a, a little bit windy right now. But uh, we'll see what happens. There's some bait jumping over here, so we're going to work our way over that way and see if we can't get something. So stay with me. Okay, so there's another one. A little bit bigger, about 13 inches. Not what we want, but they're still fun. Little 13 incher, maybe. All right, got a little bit of a uh, pattern going now, so we will uh, we'll keep at it. It's slow, but it's producing. So, all right, there's another baby right in the middle of the pads. This is about an eight inch one. <laughs> He was right in the middle of those pads. All right, well, that's the end of the video. Today we had some fun. We caught some fish, but we didn't catch the big ones. Uh, we caught a lot of small ones, but uh, that's just fishing. Uh, we had a good weekend so far, but uh, I'm gonna come back out this afternoon and probably do some frog fishing, see what, what's happening. But like I said, all little fish this morning, 
but you got to do what you got to do. At least we caught some. So uh, thank you for joining me today. I wanted to thank my sponsors, JJ Drones, the droning veteran, and Chilling in Indiana Carl for sponsoring this, uh, my videos for the month. I also wanted to thank Fish Angler. Go to my description and go to the free invite link and join for free today and hook up with people like ourselves who love the fish. Uh, and also I wanted to thank uh, my friends at Fishaholic for supplying me with some great gear. So uh, go check them out at www.fishaholic.com and use my code OTHO to get 20% off all the way up until June 15th for a one-time purchase. So thank you. And like I always say, take a kid fishing or hunting. We'd like to preserve that sport and pass it on to future generations. And we will see ya.